This is the public library in Dwaraka. Many, many libraries full of books describing the glories of Dwaraka and of Dwaraka Dish, the king of Dwaraka, Lord Sri Krishna. That's a lacuna in Dwaraka's present day culture. Most people don't really know so much about the philosophy or history. One of the purposes of Srila Prabhupada's ISKCON to give the philosophical background to the bhakti that is the natural tradition of the people of India. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama. Yes, I'm Bhakti Vikas Swami at Iskon Dwaraka, the headquarters of the Hare Krishna movement in Dwaraka. And I'll be happy to go around. I've published some information about ancient Dwaraka in a book of mine. This is how Dwaraka was 5,000 years ago. Let's go and have a look and see what it's like now. Dwaraka today is a relatively small town with about 30,000 permanent residents although there's always a floating population of pilgrims. These streets weren't made for big modern vehicles which anyway aren't allowed in the area close to the main temple. That also of course helps to preserve the sanctity of the temple. You can see the air conditioners on the walls on the left and the temple spire in the center. That's a contrast typical of modern India. Cows, auto rickshaws and tractors. This is an Indian style traffic. Here I meet a priest and we go together toward the Dwarakadish temple. Dwarakadish means Lord of Dwaraka. This temple was built 2,500 years ago at a cost of 12,000 gold coins. During religious festivals and the school holidays, Dwaraka is packed chock-a-block with visitors, but we've come in an off-peak season, which gives us a chance to look around and see the day-to-day -day life. The arati or ceremony of worship is going on. According to temple rules, we cannot film the main deity. We must approach with great respect and bow down and then stand to present ourselves before the deity and offer prayers to him. I'm heading for another part of the temple compound where students of the local Gurukul, a religious school, are chanting scriptural verses. Some of my fellow monks are already there. Every morning the boys chant here. Such recitation 
has reverberated throughout Dwaraka and throughout India since time immemorial. This is a shrine of Madhav Rai, another form of Krishna. It's an important tradition in holy places that visitors should offer some dakshina, which doesn't mean donation, it means an offering. An offering to the resident brahmanas, those who are engaged in cultivation of Vedic spiritual knowledge. So we've just seen the students chanting very nicely Vishnu Sahasranam and other prayers. And we'd like to offer some dakshina, some offering to the very competent and capable teacher, Sri Janak Rai Upadhyay. It's time for changing the flag. This family has had prepared a new flag which they are respectfully and blissfully carrying on their heads. I get the chance too. How lucky to get the Lord's mercy in this way. That's something to dance for. आपके बीस साल पहले पूज्यवाद प्रभुवाद महाराज जी का मूर्ति लेकर के द्वारिका में पद यात्रा में हरे राम हरे कृष्ण का पूरा मंडल द्वारिका में आए और यहाँ पर पांच दिन का प्राण प्रतिष्ठा का कार्यक्रम रखा गया था और तब प्राण प्रतिष्ठा के कार्यक्रम में और अपने वेद विद्यालय के छात्र वगैरह सब साथ में थे द्वारका के पंडित लोग भी साथ में थे और आपके यहाँ से भी अच्छे-अच्छे विद्वान वो भी साथ में थे और पूर्ण विधि से पांच दिन तक का प्राण प्रतिष्ठा का कार्यक्रम इसी द्वारिका दिस मंदिर के प्रांगण में माधवजी के मंदिर के चौक में किया गया जो सामने स्थित है अभी तक वो पदयात्रा चल रही है पदयात्रा चल रही है और आपके चार बार पूरा भारत परिक्रमा किया है द्वारका जी कृपा है 
और हम लोगों को भी ऐसा मौका मिला लंदन जाके उसी मूर्ति का फिर से दर्शन करने का और आपको भी फिर से सौभाग्य मिला कि 25 साल के पहले जो प्राण प्रतिष्ठा हुआ था उसी जगह आज आप लोग भी आए आपका स्वागत है द्वारका जी में This beautiful flag is central to Dwaraka's culture. Time to climb up 235 feet high. Individuals or groups can sponsor the making of a new pennant. There's heavy demand and booking for sponsorship is usually about three months in advance. It symbolizes everything that Dwaraka stands for, devotion, to Lord Krishna. Let's ask one of the Pujaris about this flag. Here's Sri Paresh Pardia. Yes. He's a Pujari here at the temple. Oh, and here's, come. Here's the fellow who's brought the new flag, which is flying now, and got back as Prasad, the old flag which was flying, which we are fortunate to put on our head. So please tell us something about the flags. They change three times a day. Can you tell us about yes, that? Uh, we have one tradition here. Yeah. So every day three times change this flag. Yeah. What time? And uh, two times change. Eight o'clock to eleven o'clock. Yeah. Number one flag. Yeah. Eleven o'clock to twelve thirty. Second flag. Yeah. So we just saw the second flag of the day yes, being changed. Yes. Just now is the second yeah, flag. Yeah. Yeah. And third flag is uh, five o'clock to. 6.30 o'clock is set, uh, third place. That's the third change, sometime in the evening. Yeah. And that will go all night then up until yes. 8 o'clock in the morning. All night is... Uh, all right. So, what's your name? Lalit Bhai Trivedi. Lalit Bhai Javedi. Trivedi. 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 And what's your name? Where are you from? He's a local Brahmin. Achha, achha. He's your local Brahmin. Yeah. Oh, acha. Aap wo sab change karte hain. Oh, acha. Aap nahi laya bahar se. Oh, acha. Acha, acha. So he is the gentleman who climbs up every time with no safety belt, nothing. Even sometimes the wind is extremely strong, but he goes up there and changes it. And by the grace of Lord Dwarakadish, no problem. So people are bringing in. Mostly they bring in from different villages, is it? Or individuals they sponsor it. It's 52 gudj, that's about 40, 40 meters, meters long. long. There's a specific design. What does that 52 stand for? You say there's 27 nakshatras. nakshatras. What's the English translation of nakshatra? It means a star, but it means a particular constellation, actually. That's the word. Nakshatra. Then... Uh, uh, 12 Rashi means 12, 12, 12 planet. Rashi means 12 particularly planetary planet. systems. Yes. 27 plus 12. And then there's the nine principal grahas. Graha means a planet. That, uh, graha means it, it has an astrological influence. It catches you. <laughs> and then four principal cardinal directions. North, south, east and west. So from the flag and from the cloth that is worn by Krishna, the you can see this kind of shirt. It's called, yes. called bandhi, no? Yes, Bandi, Bandi. Bandi, that's, that's made, and the Pujaris and the different Brahmins in the town will wear. You're wearing green today because yes. green is Wednesday and that goes together with the, the day and the Budva. Budva, so today is Wednesday. Yeah. So uh, all Brahminas, all worshippers, and uh, all gods and goddesses 
use green, green dresses. Tea. Yeah. And Thursday, orange. Mm. Friday, white. Mm. Saturday, blue. Mm. Sunday, red. Monday, pink. And Tuesday, yellow. Mm -hmm. So we have used day by day colors. Yeah. Every day change. And different colors express different emotions and moods. From Shastra colors. Right, right. In uh, Udhav, in the time of Krishna Leela, he was the most famous devotee in Dwaraka. Yeah. Udhav Ji Maharaj. Udhav Ji Maharaj yeah. There's one very nice verse from Bhagavatam. He says to Krishna, Tvayopa Bhukta Sragandha Vasa Lankara Charchitaha Uchishta Bhojano Dasas Tavamaya Jayemahi that by taking the food offered to you, my dear Krishna, that by taking the food which is enjoyed by you, the clothing, the flower garland, the scent, by using all the things already used by you, we easily conquer over your maya. So simply by wearing this, you can be free from maya. No need to go to the Himalayas and do austerity. You wear this, be a devotee of Krishna, and Krishna will look after you. Wonderful. Anything else you'd like to say about this? Jai Shri Krishna, Jai Dwarka Jai Jai Shri Krishna. Pujari, head worshipper in Lord Krishna Temple. Dwarkadish temple. temple. Mr. Upen Bhai Thakar. All are Thakars, they're yeah. the, All are Thakars. the Brahmins. All are Thakars. families do the puja of Lord Krishna. 80 families. 20 families. 20 families. Yes. And this is? This is the symbol of Chadi. There is a kingdom of Lord Krishna. At Dwarka is a kingdom. Ah. And when king coming, there is one man spoken, there is a king are coming. Now it's time to bring Lord Dwarkadish his midday meal. It's called Chapan Bho, meaning 56 items. Every day at this time, 56 preparations, opulent and fit for the king of kings, are offered to Dwarkadish. What does Dwaraka mean actually? Where is the Lord Krishna coming from Martha? Ah. There is a court. Men are asked, where is door? Dwaraka, ha. Ah. It's name Dwaraka. <laughs> it's very short name of Dwaraka. Actually, full name is Dwaraka. Ha. Dwaraka ha is asking. Where is the door? Asking for pilgrims. So Dwaraka. Ha. <laughs> so its short name is Dwaraka. Dwaraka. <laughs> It's all prepared in a kitchen reserved only for cooking for the deity. Of course, only from pure vegetarian ingredients. The offering is covered so that it is not seen by the public before offering to the Lord. Okay, I can get a blessing. Yeah, blessing you. <laughs> so, there, there is a peaceful life in Dwarka. I do not go anywhere. You are the, in Dwarka, the king is Krishna. Krishna. So how do you feel about being his citizen? That is, that is happiness and very satisfied life here. I don't go anywhere in India or in any abroad. You don't want to go to America? I don't go anywhere. Maya, Kasi Kanchi, Vantika, Puri Dwara, Vatishtaiko, Saptaite Moksha Daika. Moksha Daika means when you die here in Dwaraka, you go to Krishna. Go to Krishna. No more born no again. No more birth. No more Finished. Born. Finished. <laughs> God blessing you and you come again at Dwarka on as early as possible. Namaskar. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Bhakta Nugragata Roti Karunam Lavanya Patho Dadi Sevyo Brahma Sivendra Yogi Vyudai Raja Di Rajo Hari Data Sarva Manoratasya Bhajatam Padaika Bhakti Pradha Sri Krushna Vidruti Sada Vijayate 
श्री द्वारिकेश प्रभु मथुरा छोड़ के भगवान जब द्वारका में आए तब यहाँ भगवान ने इस सुंदर नगरी का निर्माण विश्वकर्मा के पास से करवाया भगवान का जब प्रयाग के अंदर में देहोत्सव हो गया समुद्र के पास से बारह जोजन जमीन मांगा हुआ भगवान ने ये यहाँ उसका पूरा निर्माण किया भगवान का प्रपौत्र वज्रनाभ ने इस नगरी का निर्माण करवाया जो निर्माण हुआ वो विश्वकर्मा ने अपने मंत्रो शक्ति से अपने शास्त्रों के ज्ञान से अपने वेद की मंत्र से इसका वास्तु शास्त्र को नियम को रखते हुए आप अगर ऊपर से देखेंगे पूरा श्री यंत्र की माफक दिखने को लगता है तो इस दैदीप्यमान जगत मंदिर पर इसका जो लंबाई है पूरा ऊंचाई वो डेढ़ सौ फीट का है जो सात पुरी में मुख्य पुरी है वो द्वारका पुरी है भगवान ने मल्लकाच अंदर में धारण किया है जो मल्लों के साथ कुश्ती किया है अंदर में भगवान ने जब काली नाग का दमन किया तब नाग का जो उन्होंने जो पास लिया था वो पांच पास है और ठाकुर जी के चरण में भक्ति और मुक्ति के इच्छा में सनकादिक मुनि आए तो वो है भगवान के गले में कौस्तुभ मणि का हार है भगवान ने रुक्ष्मणि के साथ शादी किया तो पूरा वैजंती माला है तीन देवों में कौन श्रेष्ठ देव है उसका परीक्षण करने के लिए भ्रगु ऋषि गए और भ्रगु ऋषि ने उसको लात लगा दिया तो उसका पद का निशान भगवान के वक्ष स्थल में तो छड़ी और बंसी दोनों है छड़ी है ग्वाल है और बंसी है अपनी राधा है जो क्रम कर रहे हैं वैसा ही क्रम भगवान को नित्य कराया जाता है पुजारी राज सेवा होती है राज सेवा तो भगवान का पूरा जो श्रृंगार का पोशाक है वो ग्रह के हिसाब से उस शनिवार होगा तो ब्लू कलर का होगा सोमवार होगा तो गुलाबी कलर का पूरा वस्त्र ऐसे कलर के होते हैं तो भगवान द्वारकाधीश जी के आने वाले सभी प्रकार के वैष्णव को सभी उपासक को यहाँ उसका संतोष मिलता है ऐसा इसलिए ये मुख्य धाम है इसलिए ये मुख्य पूरी है और इसका पूरा नगरी का पूरा संचालन इस द्वारकाधीश के ऊपर में निर्भर है Here we are on the bank of the river Gomti with Dwarka city along the north bank all on the one side of the river the other side of it is just blank it's a very small river compared to so many of the great famous rivers of india like ganga yamuna narmada kaveri nevertheless a river's sacredness doesn't necessarily depend upon her size and the gomti is one of the sacred rivers just like 5000 years ago the people are living here very happy to be living with krishna
तो आपका वंश कब से द्वारका में है सौ साल पहले उसके पहले भी है हम मुगली परिवार के सभी लोग ढाई सौ तीन सौ साल से यहाँ पर रह रहे हैं ठहरने की व्यवस्था करते हैं भोजन की व्यवस्था करते हैं भगवान के बेटे प्रद्युमन जी प्रद्युमन के बेटे अनिरुद्ध जी और अनिरुद्ध के बेटे वज्रनाभ वज्रनाभ ने भगवान की स्मृति में ये बनाया है विश्वकर्मा को लेट्स मीट द ओल्डेस्ट मैन इन द्वारका ही इज द हेड ऑफ फोर जनरेशन ऑफ द ठाकर क्लान हिज नेम इज पुरुषोत्तम हरिदास ठाकर हिज नाइन्टी फाइव इयर्स ओल्ड जय द्वारकाधीश जी जय द्वारकाधीश जय आपको देख के बहुत आनंद होता है मुझे भी बहुत आनंद द्वारका देश की कृपा भगवान पुराने जमाने में और आधुनिक काल में बहुत बड़ा फर्क पड़ता है नहीं बहुत फर्क हो गया हो जैसे पहले तो आदमी आते थे हुआ दो तीन दिन खेलते थे अभी तो आया और दर्शन करके चला गया आपका पिता श्री बहुत बड़े भगत थे ना हमारा पिता श्री मंदिर में भजन करते थे पहले रात को भगवान का शायन का समय वो नाचते थे भगवान के सामने कीर्तन करके चार धाम में बड़ा धाम हाथ पूरी में मुख्य पूरी रामेश्वर जगन्नाथ बद्रीनाथ और द्वारकाथ चार बड़ा धाम सात पूरी पूरी अयोध्या मथुरा माया काशी कांची अवंशी का और सप्त में मोक्ष विवाद का जय द्वारका Gopi Talab. Gopi means the cowherd girls, and Talab means a pond or a well. Ah. This is. That's enough for one devotee to. That will last a few years. All the Gopi Chanda, this yellow thing you see on our foreheads, this goes all over the world from this place here. Now there are devotees of Krishna all over the world. In the Madhva Sampradaya and the Gorya Madhva Sampradaya, which the worldwide Hari Krishna movement is part of, बेटूं, पत्थर तलाब से लाया, आपको देता हूं, आप जरूर से मुझे दिखाइए, तो कैसे बनाना है, और कैसे ऐसे बनाना है? इसको इसको है ना भिजा दो पानी में तो कितने समय पानी में डालना ये एक कलक आटा जैसा बना के हाँ ऐसे और इसको खटना है ना ये ये लिया ही है हम्म 
Mm. So, well, here we are at Beg Dwarka. We just crossed this narrow strip of sea from Oka. Let's see what Beg Dwarka has got to offer. Here we are at the entrance to the temple at Beg Dwaraka. We can't take the filming equipment any further. So I'll go inside and see what's to be seen and come back and tell you all about it. Inside is another temple of Dwarakadish. Another means the, the well-known one is at Dwaraka. This is Beit Dwaraka. Beit means island. And here, as in Dwaraka on the mainland, there is Dwarakadish with many shrines of different de deities of Devaki, of Lakshmi, who means Rukmini, and of Krishna in various forms, Madhav, Purushottam, Trivigram, and so on. So, according to the priests who live here, this is the original Dwarka, that when 5,000 years ago, the fort on which Krishna was living, Dwarka, became inundated, this part remained and has remained ever since. Although according to the priests on the mainland, this island wasn't an island until recently. It was until recently it was connected with the mainland. So whatever it is, there's a bit of rivalry going on between those who consider the Dwarka on the mainland to be the main Dwarakadish temple and those who consider this to be the main one. But as far as we are concerned, Krishna is Krishna, wherever he may choose to manifest, and we offer our respectful obeisances to him. You can see here, this is a result of the earthquake in 2001. The earthquake affected here, but not the Dwaraka over there on the mainland, which no disaster ever affects there. No cyclone, no earthquake, no flood. Even the Pakistan attack didn't have didn't affect them, which suggests that if there is a difference between the two, it seems that that place there, not Beit Dwarka, is the one which has that special blessing of Lord Dwarka Dish.
So this is the temple of Rukmini, the most famous, the first of Krishna's 16,108 wives. The story of Rukmini is very famous, how she was kidnapped by Krishna on her own request and lived here at this place for 12 years, separated from Krishna, and then went to live with him. She's eternally with Krishna. She's the expansion of Radharani, the greatest of the Lakshmis, or the goddesses of fortune. She loves to personally serve Krishna by fanning him, offering him betel nuts, massaging his feet, bringing his food. So in this way, Rukmini Devi sets the standard for all devotees that however, opulent they may be or however, whatever background they may have, they simply think themselves very humble servants of Krishna. So this visit to Dwarka is over. We pray that our viewers have shared our joy in visiting this center of living spiritual culture. May Lord Dwarka Deesh bless and enlighten us all. Thank <laughs> you.